And welcome to this uh, special meeting dash ceremony of your Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court set for today, April the 3rd, 2014. Commissioner Cuellar, Precinct 1, Commissioner Flores, Precinct 3, and myself being present, we have a quorum. The item on the agenda that we have for today is, well, before we do that, I'm, I apologize. Please join us in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time I would call on, on Father Amador Garza for the invocation. Can everyone sit down except for law enforcement officers? Remain standing. All of us who are sitting, let's stretch out our hands in blessing to these men and women who serve us. Loving God, source of all goodness, in your mercy we are collaborators in the handiwork of creation. We gather this day to implore your blessing upon our brother Eddie, who is to be sworn in as a servant for your daughters and sons in Hidalgo County. We ask that you bless his prayer and work. We pray for Norma, his wife, that she may be his strong support as she once promised to you in good times and in bad. We pray for all law enforcement officers present here today in gratitude for their selfless giving, for protecting us from evil and harp. Please keep them safe, Lord. Give them all a true sense of integrity that we may respect them and look up to them at all times. We use this water to bless you, Eddie, which reminds you and all of us of your baptism where you were chosen as a special son of God. And we ask that God's blessing to descend upon all of you and upon him in Jesus' sweet name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would call on uh, our state representative, Mr. Bobby Guerra, to acknowledge the presence of our elected officials here today. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, forgive me, I'm, many of you probably know I sustained a serious fall earlier this year, but um, a couple months ago. But we're on the mend, and I'll be back on my horse soon. Um, I always seem to get this unnerving task, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, occasionally having to um, announce the elected officials. And the hard part about that is, is that Many time elected officials fail to sign in or they come in late and I look like the bad guy. But uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, would like to recognize the following elected officials. Uh, Fidencio Guerra, Jr., retired state judge. <laughs> Luis Garza, Justice of the Peace. Judge Luis Garza, Justice of the Peace. <laughs> judge Fred Garza. Commissioner Aida Ramirez McAllen, Judge Charlie Espinosa, and a uh, personal note, I really thank you all for writing very clearly because sometimes uh, people don't do that. Uh, we have Paul Villarreal, he's of course our tax assessor collector, and I always remember that at certain times of the year, Paul. Um, Rene uh, Gonzalez, Hidalgo County Constable of Precinct 3, uh, Chief Deputy. <laughs> JJ Munoz, Assistant uh, Special uh, Agent in Charge, <laughs> HSI. 
J.J. Munoz, Assistant Special uh, Agent in Charge. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, it's uh, Martin Artiaga, Sergeant DPS, DPS. <laughs> Celestino Avila, Jr., ladies and gentlemen, Constable Precinct 1, Hidalgo County. <laughs> My dear friend, Judge Letty Lopez, 39th District Court. <laughs> Another dear friend, uh, Judge uh, Rose Reyna, 206. And we can't forget Aida, Aida Salinas Flotis, 398 District Court. <laughs> Judge Mario Ramirez, ladies and gentlemen, Hidalgo <laughs> County. Uh, Rosa Trevino, where is she? <laughs> Eloy Trevino, uh, he's a precinct chairman. And my fellow representative, Sergio Munoz Jr., ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dory Contreras Garza, Justice Peace, 13th Court of Appeals. <laughs> Another dear colleague, Oscar Longoria, ladies and gentlemen, State Representative, District 35. <laughs> and of course, our esteemed uh, Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Terry Canales, did you sign in, Terry? <laughs> State Representative. We have uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, uh, District Attorney elect, <laughs> former uh, District Judge. Uh, we have our Arturo Guajardo, uh, Jr., our County Clerk. <laughs> Martin Marty Cantu, there he is, <laughs> Constable. Precinct 2, Homer Hassel, ladies and gentlemen, Jr., Edinburgh City Council. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us to use your facility here, uh, Commissioner. Um, Homer Hassel, Sr., Justice Peace, Precinct 4. <laughs> David Torres, Edinburgh uh, Independent School District. <laughs> See, we have Danny Vela and uh, Alejandra. Ladies and gentlemen, McAllen ISD. Another cousin, actually. Uh, Ryan Aguillen, another uh, colleague, state representative. Albert Garcia, uh, County Court Law Number Six. Judge Israel Ramon Jr., ladies and gentlemen, 430th District Court. And we have uh, James, um, I can't read this. I'll move on. I'm having a hard time. Anyways, we have Bobby Flores, district, uh, district judge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jaime Tijerina. As a candidate for district judge, we have Judge Rudy Delgado, 93rd District Court. We have um, Veronica Whitaker, McAllen School Board. <laughs> Omar Malonado, County Court at Law Number 8. <laughs> Rico uh, R Richard uh, Molina, Edinburgh City Council. <laughs> Larry Gallardo, Constable. <laughs> and another cousin, Laura Enojosa, our district uh, clerk. And uh, I think this says County Court Law Number Two. Uh, yeah, Jay Palacios. Jay, what? I, I, where is? He? I certainly hope you don't sign your orders this way, Judge. <laughs> Thank you. But whatever you sign is okay with me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, is there anybody else that I've missed here that didn't sign in or came in late? Any other elected official? There he is. Judge, thank you for being here. Anybody else? Judge Letty Lopez. Judge, uh, we did that, did we not? Yes. Did we? We did Judge Letty Lopez. Anybody else? Judge Fred Garza. See why this is so hard? We already did Judge Fred Garza, I think. 
Okay. Um, anybody else? All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have the uh, distinct uh, honor of uh, introducing uh, somebody who's about to be sworn in today. He's my dear cousin. I can tell you that he's a successful rancher, and I know he's been brought up with that. Boy, do I know that. Uh, he's a businessman, successful businessman. He's been in law enforcement for many, many years. But I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, that these two people, if it wasn't for these two people, this gentleman wouldn't be here today. Ladies and gentlemen, D.V. Guerra and Carmen Guerra, parents. His brother, Dario, ladies and gentlemen. His brother, Dario, um, is here. And of course, um, he has one of his sons here. The other three are at Texas A&M with my daughter, and uh, I'm sure they would love to be here. Um, and uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, the triplets. The triplets are up in A&M along with my daughter. And um, we also have, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think it's very, very apparent that we have a, a young man here that's considered and is one of the most honest people that I know. Um, but I also have another announcement. He's been married to Norma, his beautiful wife, who is here with us today for 24 years. Give him a big shout <laughs> Eddie and I are very, very close. Uh, we spent a lot of time together. The family's extremely, extremely proud of him. We know he's going to do a great job. It's a sunny day. We all see that, and it's, it's, a, it's a sunny day in Hidalgo County. Uh, I think he's going to bring a tremendous amount of integrity. There's no question. And um, Hidalgo County needed this day. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Guerra. Come on up. Yes, Judge. We still need to take action on the uh, agenda item. We need to approve the bond. Yo, oh, yes. We got to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It wasn't on the agenda, by the way. <laughs> but judging by the crowd here today, Commissioner Cuellar, Commissioner Flores, we must have made the right choice. Eddie, if I were you, I'd send my camera guy up here, take a picture, and show it to the precinct chairs. <laughs> We have one item of the agenda, and that's approval of a bond for our interim sheriff, uh, appoint, uh, Mr. Eddie Guerra, appointed by Commissioner's Court on April the 2nd of uh, 2014. Move for, for approval. Second. Those in favor, Judge, say aye. 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 Before, aye. before you vote. I do have the, judge, the, the bond here, Judge. It was brought to our office today. So correct. here it is for, yes. for review. Thank you, sir. Mr. Crane told me he had looked at it. Have you looked at it, Steve? Yes, I have. It uh, complies with the statutory requirements. That's what we got lawyers for now. <laughs> All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Steve, who takes care of this? All right, now. I got a Yes. Arturo, I've already signed my share. Oh, I need to sign it. After you do the oath. At this time, um, I believe uh, we're ready to administer the oath of office. Uh, is there a special presentation you'd like to, to make, Bobby, or can I yeah, call on, on no, the judge, honorable Fred uh, Dodson? Uh, we do, uh, no, none other than I, I would like, uh, we do have to introduce um, the distinguished judge that will be, um, and who's also happens to be related to him <laughs> by marriage, uh, introduce uh, the honorable judge, Fred, Fred Garza. Stand up. 
right here. Like that. You put your hand in there. You know what? Hold my hand. <clears throat> All right. Please raise your right hand. I. I. Your name. Jose Eduardo Guerra. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Hidalgo County Sheriff. Of Hidalgo County Sheriff. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws. The Constitution and laws. Of the United States and of this state. Of the United States and of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, his beautiful wife uh, is going to pin his badge on, and of course, his son standing right there with the with the Bible. Their son. I don't know if I'm more nervous today than, than I was yesterday. <laughs> um, there also was a shining sheet for the uh, law enforcement dignitaries, but uh, I don't think we're going to read those because we'll be here another, another 30 minutes, so we're going to go for, forego that. But uh, thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for, for taking the time out of your busy schedule. And uh, I can promise you this that the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office will form a cooperation with each and every one of the law enforcement agencies that are comprised of Hidalgo County, and I promise that. Uh, oh, I want to read this my <laughs> I want to introduce some of my family members that, uh, that weren't introduced. Uh, my my mother-in-law, Hermina Garza, My, my sister-in-law and uh, brother-in-law, Albert and Nelda Rodriguez. <laughs> and I have too many uh, uncles and uh, cousins, and again, we'll be here. But um, I had a prepared speech, but I'm going to speak from the heart. Uh, I'd like to recognize my, my, uh, my deputies, the ones in the uh, khaki and and green uniforms, and uh, I want to thank them for a job well done, and it was on their shoulders that I stood above the rest. So let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> I look forward to meeting and working with all the dedicated officers and deputies and staff of the Dow County Sheriff's Office. And starting today, there's going to be a new era, a new chapter written in Hidalgo County. <clears throat> um, I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all very much. <laughs> he left his phone here. You know, as I let you introduce your mother-in-law, I thought that'd be appropriate. Sure. <laughs> On behalf of the county commissioner's court, I know I speak for all five of us. It was a unanimous vote. 
we want you to succeed. We know you will succeed. We know you have the experience. We know you have the qualifications to do so. But as you know, this is a tremendous responsibility that is now being placed on your shoulders. Uh, we're entrusting you with approximately $61 million of our taxpayer hard-earned dollars for you to operate the largest uh, law enforcement agency that we have here in the county. You're going to be supervising approximately 778 to 800 um, deputies and staff people there in order to achieve your goal. And we're, we're rooting for you. We want you to know that we'll be here to support you. We want to make sure that our community um, gets the peace of mind that, they, that comes from knowing that they're safe. And uh, we know that you're going to get us there. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Judge. In 1995, I began my law enforcement career with one objective, and that was service to my community. In 2008, the Precinct 4 Constable's Office was mirrored in turmoil. Believing in my heart that my precinct deserved a Constable's Office that was based on service with integrity, I, with, with the support of my family, ran for the office. And my message was simple, trust through integrity. The people of Precinct 4 had six candidates to choose from, but in 2009, I was sworn into office and I assumed the duties of constable for Precinct 4. We worked hard to restore the good name of the constable's office and for the people of Precinct 4 that reelected me to office in 2012. Along the way, we built partnerships with the community, with local, state, and federal law enforcement partners. Today, I face a new challenge. On this date, at this hour, and at this moment, I look upon you, and I have a lump in my throat. But it's not from fear, but with awe of what this moment means to me, what it means to you, and more importantly, what it means to the people of Hidalgo County. Today, at this moment, you and I will set forth on a monumental task of restoring the luster to the badge we wear. The confidence of the people we serve and the reputation of the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office. Together, we can be leaders in law enforcement in this county and in this state and if we do it right, of this country. You and I are going forward to be a part of one of the greatest turnarounds in recent history. We're going to accomplish this by dedicating ourselves to service of our community, integrity in our everyday action, and holding ourselves to the ethical standards that our community and our leaders expect and that they, at, at what they demand. We will regain the public's trust. The term drawing a line in the sand has many meanings throughout history. But in Texas, it means one thing, to go past the point of no return total dedication, and total commitment. Now, I know we don't have a physical line in the sand here, but I'm drawing that line in your hearts. And it would be my honor to lead you over that line, to commit ourselves to change for the greater good. So those of you that want to join me, I want you to take one step forward and raise your right hand and swear an oath. Judge? Good afternoon, deputies. After I state I, please say your name. I, I do solemnly swear or affirm, solemnly swear or affirm 
that I will faithfully execute the duties of the Office of Deputy Sheriff of the State of Texas and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I have not directly or indirectly paid, offered, or promised to pay, contribute or promised to contribute any money or thing of value or promise any public office or employment for the giving or withholding of a vote at the election at which I was elected or as a reward to secure my appointment or confirmation, whichever the case may be. So help me God. Congratulations.